Hello and welcome back to English for You. I'm Seb. I'm Elsie. And we are still reading the one and only Ivan,、mm. the amazing silverback gorilla. So. Ivan. Okay, so what has been happening in Ivan's world recently? So to, we know that he was living in the mall, right? Yeah, and、mm-hmm. sh- he met some other neighbors.、Mm-hmm. Yes, he has some neighbors, and a new one, Ruby, came, a baby elephant. Yeah, but Stella told Ivan something.、Mm-hmm. Yes, when she was about to. To pass away,、right. to die. She said that she he needed to take care of Ruby.、Mm-hmm. Of course. Now,、um, something which is very interesting about elephants is they're very, very intelligent. So they have very well developed brains. And one of the problems with this is that elephants can get a condition that humans get called. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Oh.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so so here, Ruby would have that, or Stella. Ah,、uh, definitely Stella has it, but、mm-hmm. maybe Ruby would get it too because, well, she might already have it because、uh, she, her parents have been killed and she's been taken away.、Mm. So. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, is a condition that we get when we experience something very, very scary or very, very sad. Like, for example, when people go to war, sometimes the soldiers can come back and they can find it difficult to trust people, to talk to people,、um, and they become very isolated because they feel very nervous all、mm-hmm. the time or very frightened. Chinese, we say, is trauma shock症候群 PTSD. Ah, I see. Yes.、Yeah. So this is one. One of the problems, and so that's I think why Stella says it will never be okay because she thinks that Ruby will always remember this. Anyway, so it doesn't seem like things are very good right now at the Big Top Mall. It seems like you know, Stella is very sick.、Uh, Ruby is might have PTSD, and Ivan can't do anything right now. But he is going to try and protect her, right?、Let's, because、mm-hmm. he promised Stella. Of course, he、mm. promised her. So let's see what he's going to do to help Ruby in day three. Reading. The one and only Ivan. We have one less elephant, but that hasn't stopped Max's money-making schemes. He begins training little Ruby to perform for the mall visitors. When Ruby doesn't obey him, he stabs her in the leg with a sharp stick. I swore to Stella that I would protect Ruby. Luckily, there is someone who can help. My favorite visitor, Julia. She likes me because, like her, I am an artist. I draw pictures for the tourists with the crayons and paint that Mac gives me. Night after night, I work to make Julia the perfect picture. It is not likely that she will understand my attempt, but I've got to try. My painting, a picture of Ruby in a home far away, gets Julia's attention. With her dad's help, she tells people about the Big Top Mall. Soon, new visitors, angry visitors, come and put an end to Max's lousy business. We are transported to a new home. Ruby is given lots of space to play and is no longer forced to do tricks. As for me, I am finally given a troop to protect. I'm ready for this new life. Having kept my promise to Stella, I am at last a true silverback. Okay, so our day three story starts on a very sad note. Ivan says we have one less elephant. But that hasn't stopped Max's money-making schemes. So here, when he says we have one less elephant, he means that now we only have Ruby because Stella has sadly passed away. She has died. 对呀、啊，现在只剩下 Ruby 这一只大象了。Mm-hmm. 那 scheme 这边代表的是计划、规划或者是负面的阴谋诡计也是可以的哦。那这边我们前面还有一个复合形容词是 money making， 代表是赚钱的。所以说呢，虽然少了一只大象，但这却没有阻止 Mac 赚钱的计划。What does he do after Stella dies? Hmm. Well, the story says he begins training little Ruby to perform for the mall visitors. Oh no. So this、Poor、is、Ruby. why he got Ruby because he wants Ruby to do tricks. 
and maybe he knew that Stella was going to pass away soon.、Mm-hmm. Probably, probably. So, he started training Xiao Xiang Ruby to perform for the tourist attraction. But the article says when Ruby doesn't obey him, he stabs her in the leg with a sharp stick. Oh no! So we'll get onto what stab means in a minute. But first, let's look at obey. Now, obey is a verb, and when we obey someone, we do what they tell us to do. Normally, we could talk about an employee obeying his boss or a servant obeying his master. You will remember that last month, when we were reading *The Handmaid's Tale*, we learnt the word obedient. That actually is the adjective form of obey. So, someone who is obedient does what they are told. However, We see that in the story, Ruby doesn't obey Mac. She is not obedient. We could also say she is disobedient. That's the negative form of obedient. So people who are disobedient do not listen to the rules or do not do what they are told. We could also use disobedience to talk about the girl in our example sentence. Rebecca's dad told her to come back home at 9 p.m., but she didn't obey him, and she came back at midnight. Obey 这个动词呢，代表的是服从、遵守。那当小象 Ruby 不服从他，也就是 Mac 的时候呢 ，He uses a sharp stick to stab her. Okay, stab. I、oh, know. So we can just see how badly Mac is abusing Ruby. Stab is a verb, and、uh, he stabs her with a pointed stick. Now, stab means to stick something sharp or pointy, like a knife, into a person or an animal's flesh. If you've stabbed someone, you would inflict great pain on them. So to inflict great pain on someone means to hurt them a lot. So Ruby is suffering because of Mac. Mac's behavior, and sadly, this is something that happens to a lot of elephants that are being trained. However, it's not to say that we always stab people or things on purpose. Like this example: Don't run around with scissors or knives. You might fall and cut or stab yourself. Okay, yeah, that's exactly why we don't run around with scissors or knives. <laughs> Stab 这个动词呢，是用刀或尖锐的物品去刺、去戳、去捅别人。那 Mac 竟然会用这样子尖尖的棍子戳他，戳我们的 Ruby。So poor Ruby, no wonder Stella asked asked Ivan to protect her. Hmm. Yes, Stella knew what was going to happen. Ivan says, "I swore to Stella that I would protect Ruby." Okay, so Ivan now really needs to think of a way to protect Ruby, to help Ruby, because he swore that he would to Stella. Now, swear is a verb, and when we swear we will do something for someone, we promise that person that we will do that thing for them. Have you ever seen on TV when a little kid is caught doing something wrong? He doesn't want to be punished, so he says, "I swear I didn't do it." People say this because before a long, long time ago, when people were very religious, they would say that they promised something to God when they were very serious about that thing being true. This was a very serious thing to do. And although people are not as religious now as they used to be, we still say things like "I swear on my life" when we want to show that we are being really honest. Now, swear has a second mini- m- meaning too, and that is to say rude words. This This is why you might have to be careful with what prepositions you use after swear. If you say that you swear something to someone, you're making a promise. However, if you say you swear at someone, then that means you're being very rude to them. Sorry, I'm not going to teach you any swear words or rude words in this episode. However, I will give you an example sentence for swear, as we saw it in the article. Sam swore to Marta that he wasn't lying to her, but she didn't believe him. Swear 在文章中代表保证或是郑重表明。那三态是 swear, swore, sworn， 很好记哦。你如果把那个字首的 s 拿掉，你看到是 wear, wore, worn， 穿衣服那个动作的三态变化。那刚刚 Sabio 提到 swear， 另外一个意思是骂脏话。那用法跟保证、郑重表明是不一样的、哦。如果你是要向某人发誓保证，你会说 you swear to somebody， 可以再加一个 that 之后加发誓保证的内容。For example, the student swore to his teacher that he would never cheat in exams.、Mm-hmm. 学生答应他的老师，他绝对不会在考试作弊。那如果是对人家骂脏话，刚才 Sabio 提到要注意哦 ，you swear。
at somebody， 那是不一样的。Mm-hmm. 那 Ivan 这边想到呢，他答应过 Stella 要照顾 Ruby， so what is he going to do？ Hmm. Well, it seems like he's thought of a plan because now Ivan says, "Luckily, there is someone who can help. My favorite visitor, Julia." Ah,、oh, the janitor's daughter that we mentioned in our day one article, that right? That is right. Yes. And Ivan says she likes me because, like her, I am an artist. Hmm. 我跟她一样都是艺术家，所以她喜欢我。I didn't know that. No. Yes. Actually, throughout the story, we see that Ivan has been drawing lots of pictures. Now, how does he do this? Well, Ivan says, "I draw pictures for the tourists with crayons and paint that Mac gives me." Ah, so it's another one of Mac's money-making schemes. Yes. I see. Okay. So, 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 Um, have you seen an animal draw pictures before? I've never seen that before. I know that some animals can. Right, can't they?、Mm-hmm. I've seen a video about that, especially in Thailand.、Mm. Some people train elephants to paint. Ah,、uh, I see. I feel like that's another one of those animal befo- abuse. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think those animal those elephants want to paint. Right, but they are made to paint.、Mm-hmm. Anyway, but Ivan isn't being forced to paint this time. This time he wants to make a perfect. Picture because he says night after night I work to make Julia the perfect picture. Okay, so just remember night after night when we say that we're saying that he did it last night. He's doing it tonight. He'll do it tomorrow. Every night he is practicing to make this picture perfect. Night after night 就是夜复一夜。那如果是日复一日，我们可以说 day after day。那这边 Ivan 说到夜复夜，我每夜都努力的画一幅图给 Julia。And he says it is not likely that she will understand my attempt, but I've got to try.、Mm-hmm. He's got to try. 嗯，那我们先看到英文练功房里面的句型哦。It is likely 后面加 that 以及这个名词子句，什么意思呢？这个句型啊，用来表达某件事情很可能发生。其中的主词 it 它是一个虚主词，那真主词在哪里呢？真主词在后面 that 带出来的子句当中。Likely 则是一个形容词，表示可能的。So for example, it's likely that your team will win the game. 你们的队伍很有可能会赢。那当然呢，也可以用 very, more, less, most 或 least 等等的字来放到这个句型里面。For example, it's very likely that he will propose to you soon. That he will propose to you soon 是这句话的真主词。Mm-hmm. 好啦，那如果是否定的话呢，可以加入 not 这个否定词、哦。It is not likely that 后面加名词子句。课文就是用这样子的句型。他说啊 ，It is not likely that she will understand my attempt, but I've got to try.、Mm-hmm. 真主词在哪里呢？真主词就是 that she will understand my attempt.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so. What does attempt mean here?、Mm-hmm. Yes. What is attempt? I thought he was making a picture. Well, attempt is actually a noun. It's similar to try. When we make an attempt to do something, we are in fact trying very hard to do it. Ivan is saying that he doesn't know if his picture is very good, but he hopes that Julia will understand what he has drawn for her. In a similar way, if you try to cook a very difficult meal, when you are serving serving it to your friend, you could say. I hope you enjoy this attempt. I hope you enjoy what I have tried to make. Now, like try, attempt is both a noun and a verb. We could also say that Ivan attempted to do a good painting for Julia. Lastly, if we take the at of attempt, then we get another verb, tempt. And when we tempt someone, we get them to do bad things or things they know they shouldn't do by convincing them. So, for example, I know I shouldn't have another piece of pie, but you've Tempted me. Oh, so this side attempt is to attract, lure people to do something. Hmm. Exactly. So let's get back to attempt now, the noun form, and look at an example sentence. Despite his attempt to do well on the big exam, Fred got the worst grade in the class. Oh no! So even though he tried, 
He didn't do very well. Okay, at least he tried.、Mm-hmm. Attempt 这边呢，当名词用啊，代表的是企图或是尝试。那 Ivan 这边说到 ，Julia 不太可能知道我的企图是什么，但我一定要试试看。So what is he trying to paint? He says my painting, a picture of Ruby in a home far away. Gets Julia's attention. Okay, so he's he's drawn a picture of Ruby. Actually, I think in a zoo. That's what he thinks where Ruby should be. Oh, so he painted a picture of Ruby in a zoo. That's what he thinks where Ruby should be. Oh, so he painted a picture of Ruby in a zoo. That's what he thinks where Ruby should be. Oh, so he painted a picture of Ruby in a zoo. That's what he thinks where Ruby should be. Oh, so he painted a picture of Ruby in a zoo. That's what he thinks where Ruby should be. Oh, so he painted a picture of Ruby in a zoo. That's what he thinks where Ruby should be. Oh, so he painted a picture of Ruby in a zoo. That's what he thinks where Ruby should be. Oh, so he painted a picture of Ruby in a zoo. That's what he thinks where Ruby should be. Oh, so he painted a picture of Ruby in a zoo. That's what he thinks where Ruby should be. Oh, so he painted a picture of Ruby in a zoo. That's what he thinks where Ruby should be. Oh, so he painted a picture of Ruby in a zoo. That's what he thinks where Ruby should be. Oh, so he painted a picture of Ruby in a zoo. That's what he thinks where Ruby should be. Oh, so he painted a Mm-hmm. 他告诉大家关于这间购物中心的事情。那他的爸爸又帮助他做这件事情。Mm-hmm. Soon, new visitors, angry visitors, come and put an end to Max lousy business.、Mm-hmm. To put an end to something 代表的是终止、消弭某事。那可能会是 put an end to a fight， 结束一场。打斗或者争吵，或者是 put an end to an argument，、mm-hmm. 结束一个争吵。Here, a lot of visitors come and put an end to Max lousy business. Right, his lousy business. Now, lousy is an adjective, and when something is lousy, it is really bad and disappointing. We can tell from the sentence that Ivan doesn't think that Max's business is any good. He is a lousy businessman. He is bad at business, and his idea is lousy. Because it involves abusing animals. So here's an example sentence for lousy. Now the service at this restaurant is lousy. I'm never coming back.、Mm-hmm. Lousy 这个形容词呢是差劲的、糟糕的 So what happens after that? Right. It seems that Max's business is over,、right. and so、mm-hmm. the animals have to go somewhere else, don't they? And that's what Ivan says. We are transported to a new home. So we've got this word transport here. Now, transport is a verb, and when we transport something from one place to another, we take it from one place to another, normally by car, train, bus, or plane. Because the mall has been closed down, Ivan and Ruby are being taken somewhere else. They are going to start fresh, or we could also say start over. Start fresh and start over both mean to begin a new part of your life, far away from everything you've done before, from all the good and the bad things in your previous part of your life. So they are getting a new try, somewhere new to live, which is far away from Mac, far away from these pointy sticks, and where they have people that will take care of them. So for Ivan and Stella, that means they'll get to live in much. Better conditions, and now we've got a quick example sentence for transport. This boat is transporting hundreds of thousands of pairs of sneakers from China to the U.S. Transport 在这边当做动词哦，代表运输、运送。那我们熟悉的大众运输交通工具，英文可以说是 public transport、mm-hmm.。Transport 也可以当做名词用，或者是我们可以讲 public transportation。Okay, now they are at a new home, a zoo, actually. Mm-hmm, they are yes, and Ivan tells us more about this zoo. Ruby is given lots of space to play and is no longer forced to do tricks. That's what he tells us in the story. So that's wonderful news, isn't it? Yeah,、mm-hmm. it is. Ruby 有很多的空间，而且就不用再被强迫做特技表演了。What about Ivan himself? Well, Ivan is going to be in a very new kind of setting. He says, "As for me, I am finally given a troop to protect." So he's introduced to other gorillas,、wow. which is something that's never really happened for Ivan, or、so、not since he was a baby. Yeah, so、mm-hmm. finally he can be a silverback, right? Yes, exactly. Ivan 也有可以保护的猩猩群了。Uh、mm-hmm. huh. And that's how he ends this story. He says, "I'm ready for this new life, having kept my promise to Stella." I am at last a true silverback. So that's very sweet, isn't it? You know, he's he's finally、right. what he is. He's everybody's been calling him、mm-hmm. for the whole story. He's finally himself. And at last, we're at the end of our article, but we still have to look at one last phrase, don't we? Right, at last, at last, <laughs> <laughs> which means finally, 最后，终于，或者是 in the end. 那 Ivan 最后说到呢，我准备好迎接新的生活了。我做到了我对 Stella 的承诺。我最后终于成为了 Silverback in Bay. What a wonderful happy ending! It's so sweet. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, okay, so before so, we mm. start to cry, we need to go to our for you chair, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, so fighting back the tears, let's check out our for you chat question for today. For you chat. Okay, so our for you chat question for today is: Do you think things will be easy for Ivan in his new home? Why or why not? So he's going into a better zoo, right? He's、mm-hmm. getting friends, and he has a troop to protect.、Mm-hmm. But that's something that he needs to work on now, right? Right. Because right. he didn't have any experience. Mm-hmm. He's never been around other gorillas before.、Mm-hmm. Or actually, in the story, we learn、um, in the full story, you learn that he did live in the wild when he was a baby, but he was taken away when he was still very young. So、mm-hmm. he's probably he's never grown up with gorillas. He's never been around gorillas as, a, as an adult. And gorillas are very very social animals. They spend a lot of time together, and they have lots of very complex relationships. Okay, so by so, protecting、mm-hmm. them, does it mean、um, our Ivan is the leader of the troop? He would be the leader of the troop. Yes, a silverback gets to be the leader of a troop for I think normally maybe four years. And it's hard、so. to be a leader. Right,、mm. if you've never had any experience with、you、others, how is he supposed to make your troop follow you, listen to you? Exactly, that might be a hard thing to do. Exactly, exactly. That's got to be very hard, and also. That's why we can't always just release animals into the wild immediately as soon as we rescue them, because sometimes they have to learn the right behaviors right. to survive properly. Yep. Anyway, there's lots more that we can talk about here. Why might he struggle in his new home? Is this zoo even any good? You guys can discuss that. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for talking about this story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. I hope nobody in your classroom is crying. If you are interested、mm-hmm. in the book, go buy one or go online. And then yes, it's、one. quite easy to read. It's quite an easy read, especially for、um, your English age, learners right, at your、yeah. at your level as well. I think you'll probably be able to do quite well with this book. So you guys check that out, and we will join you again with more exciting articles. So for English for you, I'm Seb. I'm Elsie, and we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. The one and only Ivan. We have one less elephant. But that hasn't stopped Max' money-making schemes. He begins training little Ruby to perform for the mall visitors. When Ruby doesn't obey him, he stabs her in the leg with a sharp stick. I swore to Stella that I would protect Ruby. Luckily, there is someone who can help. My favorite visitor, Julia. She likes me because, like her, I am an artist. I draw pictures for the tourists with the crayons and paint that Mac gives me. Night after night, I work to make Julia the perfect picture. It is not likely that she will understand my attempt, but I've got to try. My painting, a picture of Ruby in a home far away, gets Julia's attention. With her dad's help, she tells people about the Big Top Mall. Soon, new visitors, angry visitors. Come and put an end to Max's lousy business. We are transported to a new home. Ruby is given lots of space to play and is no longer forced to do tricks. As for me, I am finally given a troop to protect. I'm ready for this new life. Having kept my promise to Stella, I am at last a true silverback. Vocabulary review. Obey. When my father tells me to be home by 10 p.m., I must obey him, or I will get in trouble. Stab. Bobby said "ow" when Janet stabbed his arm with a pen. Swear. I'm living with my parents because I swore that I'd help them in their old age. Attempt. Kyle made an attempt to climb the tall tree, but he fell down and didn't try again. 
lousy. Wendy thought the hamburger she ordered tasted lousy, so she never went back to that restaurant. Transport. Transport. When my family moved to Taiwan, our furniture was transported on a boat. 智慧小补帖 Scheme. The program is made by Huayong Kongzhong Media. Huayong Kongzhong Media Publishing Company. Please search for the nearest bookstore in your area. If you prefer listening to audio, please call 02-2364-4000. 02-2364-4000.